Oh, yeah. Millions of American taxpayers are still wondering exactly how did we, the American people, get ourselves into this economic mess and is there someone truly who should be to blame? Well, in fact, one of the people who's thinking a lot about this, in fact, thinks that we should hold some of the folks accountable is Democratic Senator Ted Kaufman of Delaware. He's joining us live right now from Capitol Hill. Senator, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Carlos, and Contessa. So Thanks Senator, for having me. Senator, it's good to see you again. So you wrote a scathing op-ed piece in today's Philadelphia Inquirer. Let me read just part of what you had to say. You said, quote, before Congress begins to write new rules, we must investigate any crimes that may have been committed, whether by local mortgage brokers or the biggest banks. Let's enforce the laws that were on the books and throw those who broke them in jail. And then I thought this was interesting. You wrote, if people rob a bank, they go to jail. If bankers rob people, they should go to jail yeah. too. Um, Senator, you've introduced a bill that you believe uh, will look into some of these potential economic crimes. Say more about actually what that bill would do and what you're hoping to accomplish. Okay, uh, Carlos and Contessa, it's a bipartisan bill. Uh, the other sponsors are the chairman, uh, Pat Leahy, a Democrat from Vermont, and uh, Republican Chuck Grassley from Iowa. And the three of us have all agreed that uh, we have to look forward, we have to see what the solutions are and everything else. But the first thing we have to, uh, one of the things we have to do when we're doing this is make sure that anybody who's involved in financial fraud during this period or uh, should go to jail. But, the, but problem we have, the problem we have is that, uh, as you know, and I, and I know you both know it, that after 9-1-1, uh, the FBI switched most of its agents to counterterrorism, which was absolutely, totally the right thing to do. But we didn't fill in afterwards. So in terms of what this bill will do, right now there's only 200 and some uh, FBI agents concentrating on financial fraud. We had less financial fraud uh, cases that we went after in uh, 2008 than we had in 2001. So what this bill does, it's really, really quite simple, and, it's, and that is to get the FBI agents we need, to give them the proper training and to hire the prosecutors so they can go out and catch the people that were involved in this financial fraud. As you said, Carlos, doesn't matter what they were doing, whether working for a brokerage or working for an investment bank, working for a stock brokerage house, working for a, a, a regular bank, we should find them. And if they're guilty of a crime, they should go to jail. You know, here's the thing. You point out in this op-ed that the FBI has 240 agents. And then you point out that during the SNL crisis, which right. is, a, everyone agrees, it barely scratches the surface of right. what we're up against now. During the SNL crisis, a thousand agents investigating right. fraud. So how do you, I mean, at a time when we're asking for cutbacks, right. how do you add those people? Because I think you have to, and we're not talking about that much money. So it's not, it's not, you know, in terms of the money we're talking about, look, there's no one that's as sick about the fact that we have to spend all this money now on the economic recovery package, on the appropriations, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the budget. But we have to do it. I um, mean, basically, we have a $2 billion hole in the gross right. domestic product. We need, a, we need a big thing to fill it. And I'm just saying, while we're doing this, one of the things we do, and it's got bipartisan support, we will get it done, is to get the FBI just to go out and find it. Not just because, you know, we want to do it because we're vengeful or we want to get even or anything else. Although, <laughs> lots of people I talk to since I introduced this bill believe that. But one of the things I want to do is just make sure that down the road, people don't say, sitting in a brokerage house or sitting in a, in a, in a mortgage broker and say, hey, listen, you know, Last time somebody tried this, they went to jail. Hey, Senator Kaufman, one last question before sure. we go. A lot of cynics will, will say, glad to hear what the senator is saying, but they say that every time. They said it yeah. after Enron, yeah. they said it right. after WorldCom, right. um, they've said it uh, the you know, crisis. A hundred right. year, uh, almost 100 years ago after the first big Ponzi scheme, right. and none of the big guys in large numbers ever really go to jail. Why should people hearing you have any confidence that there will be serious investigations and serious penalties to some of the uh, biggest and most powerful people in corporate America? Trust me, it's going to happen. I talked to uh, Lanny Brewer, who's going to be the new head of the criminal division. I talked to Eric Holder, who's the new attorney general. David Ogden is going to be the new deputy attorney general. They're all on the program. Nobody is going to get out of this because they're too big. What we need, though, in order to do this, these are very complex, especially when you go after the big guys. These guys don't just, you know, go to a jewelry store, throw a rock through the window, and grab the jewelry. It's very, very complex. So you need the kind of people that understand the financial fraud, that have the training, and get the FBI and the prosecutors to do it. So this is going to, you know, this will work, and this is what we have to do uh, if we're going to send the right message to everyone. That is, as you said, uh, I said in the op-ed, you know, if you rob a bank, I mean, if you right. rob a store, you go to jail. If banks rob people, they should go to jail. S Senator Kaufman, thank you so much for joining us, and we definitely look forward to having you come back to talk about the progress in this over the next Great. couple of months. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks, Contessa. Sure.